All right, it's in here. Hal Shafont. Pal! Who I totally remember in the previous questing. I remember we make friends with these guys up here. I don't know what this guy's voice is. I'll just, I'll just read regularly. Well, well, if it isn't my fine friend, Kelvin Light, would you care for a plate of roast car caracol? Some mulled wine? No, uh, no. I see you have not come into my hall merely to escape the biting cold. I was, in fact, on the verge of opening an urgent missive from Revenant's Toll, and I suspect the timing of her arrival is no coincidence. Damn, that missive went fast. Anyway, let me continue with the story here. When the cold sets in, Lord Harshafond awaits the confirmation of the reason for your visit to Camp Dragonhead. Yeah, so anyway, there was a supply run and then some heretics attacked. Um, I'm assuming you know what heretics means. The incident with the new oh, frontier hand? voice acted. No, no, you need not elaborate. I have been following their progress with no small amount of interest. Oh, he's got a very noble voice. Ish. A little bit over the top. Brave men and women all. They do our nation a great service. The existence of a fortified outpost in Mordona will do much to dissuade the Empire from trespassing on Curtis soil. Right glad am I that you have chosen to lend your support to this endeavor. Never let it be said that House Fort Tom does not acknowledge the efforts of her allies, or her debts. It was in the spirit of gratitude that I arranged for sundry supplies to be delivered to Revenant's Toll. That the shipment should chance to be waylaid by heretics is poor fortune indeed. Nice of you to send supplies, thank you. <laughs> Poor Very fortune, I say. Yet not without precedent. If you would know the truth of it, these incorrigible villains grow more organized with each passing day. Oh, more troubles. This new unity of purpose we attribute to their leader, the Lady Iceheart. But though I have devoted significant resources to the task of identifying this woman, we have yet to learn so much oh, as her birth name. Lady Iceheart? Lady Iceheart? It heartens me that we're starting to see some ties into potentially uh, the the Heaven's Word expansion. <laughs> Maybe I'm finally getting what there. What you do know is that the heretics speak of Iceheart in reverent tones, and would gladly embrace death rather than betray her. Such loyalty is rare indeed, and I fear to imagine what so committed a collective might achieve. The brigands have not yet been so brazen as to risk direct confrontation here in Dragonhead. Some few of their number have, however, been sighted not far to the west of here, and with ever-increasing regularity. A visit to Whitebrim Front may bring you the answers you seek. Will you brave the snows, knowing what implacable foes may lie in wait? I always do. <laughs> Hello, Nay's blessings be upon you. I nod and a smile. Though I take no pride in the admission, Many of mine own countrymen are not so well suited as you adventurers to dealing with such foes. Halone being Were they one of dragons? the twelve. It might be otherwise. Many of mine own countrymen are not so well suited as your. Sorry, I was uh, thinking of when he said Halone. As your adventurers to dealing with such foes. As you adventurers to dealing. Were they dragons? They might think otherwise. I see. Brigands? Nay. Dragons? Okay. But truly, I could not wish for a finer ally. You have done much for my house in the past, and I have no doubt but that I shall have cause to celebrate your deeds again ere long. I really need a reminder as to what I, 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 I'm going to have to. Forward. I've been watching some videos, but I have to remind myself on the previous story because all these people are referencing it, and I'm just like, I don't remember what I did. Thanks, 
hair font, archie font. Okay, I say your Final Fantasy XIV character to be looking kind of cute. Right? I love her. I really like uh, the, the character I created. At first, I, I, I know I said this before, but at first I was thinking to, I was going to switch to Aura, which is the dragon people race that wasn't out when I first created my character. But the more I play her, the more I'm just like, you know what? I really love her. I don't think I'm going to race change. Just going to stay as is. Makote for life. But yeah, I really love the uh, the hairstyle I've given her. I think it's very cute. It's got the little like ponytail at the back, but like it still has like the the, the sweeping sides here at the front. I don't know exactly how her hair works in terms of the red and the the pale like uh, blondish highlights, <laughs> but you know. Whatever. It's fantasy land. People can have hair like this. Let's go. <laughs> like, I guess it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like, uh, you know, like somebody's colored their hair and like it started growing in the other color, except for it doesn't really make sense. Like visually here, like it goes from pale to the red to the pale again, and then to red at the bottom. But you know, it's fantasy land. I can do what I want. People have crazier hairstyles. Listen, we're gonna we're, we're gonna go full anime Yu-Gi-Oh hair, <laughs> and it's perfectly fine. Natural hair is overrated. All right, here we are. Hello, I have come seeking the person to speak with here. Nope. I remember walking these stairs. I'm suddenly hit with a flashback of walking these stairs. Remembering how troublesome walking up these stairs was. The things you remember. Kelwyn, is there aught you would ask of me? Pray, speak plainly. I have men of action and need no honeyed words. On the trail of a band of thieving heretics, you say, by the fury, but you do seem destined to cross paths with those villains. I must confess then, it is a sad truth that the wilds hereabout have indeed grown thicker with their number. They strike swiftly without warning and are canny enough to evade our most able trackers. But tis not merely their newfound organization that confounds us. The heretics themselves seem somehow changed. In italics, that's never a good thing. <laughs> Changed is never a good thing. I know not what manner of influence this ice heart wields, but the men we face seem utterly lost in the grip of righteous fervor. It is an unsettling and unnatural zeal. This screams of primal tempering. Mayhaps you would care to question one of the recent victims. As fate would have it, your arrival came moments after a traitor was waylaid on the road. A patrol found the unfortunate fellow lying senseless in the snow and carried him to our infirmary. Assuming he has regained the use of his uh, faculties, the merchant might recall some small details that could aid in your task. Sweet beans, where is he? I hope, is he, I, I hope, is he outside? Let me zoom in. Okay, yes, he is. Okay, good. I don't have to keep climbing these chairs. And I can mount up in here. Just riding our horse up the stairways. Right, more stairs, more stairs. Uh, this building? Hello? I am come seeking someone who been injured. Maybe in this building? Nope, not in this building. Above this building. Second floor building. I think we found it. This looks like maybe infirmary, second floor maybe? Gosh, so hard to navigate. Where are these people? Oh, we found him. Yo, are you okay? How's it been? I'm here to question you. How were you attacked? What did they look like? How many of them? Tell you what happened. Yes, of course. Why, yes, of course. I'm quite recovered enough for that. Anything to help catch these, those cowardly black hearts. 
I was traveling that usual route to white brim front when a sudden, uh, sudden blow sent me reeling. The next thing I knew, I was on the ground and several heretics were rifling through my cargo. Arms, armor, crystals. They were taking everything. Twas then that one of them noticed my bleary grays and stalked over to better acquaint my head with his mace. Before darkness claimed me, however, I simply heard the words, Return to Snowcloak. I dare say that is where they were hauling my goods, but you will not catch me rushing off in pursuit. They tell me twas a miracle I survived at all, and I'll not trust my thick skull to save me a second time. Well, glad you live, sir. Thanks for the information. I really appreciate it. All right, down that way in the red circle. Unicorn away. This lead to snow cloak when cold sets in. There she blows. Oh shit, dead people. All right. Oh, this this ability has been removed. Oh, good, because I didn't know what I was doing that ability with that ability anyway. I guess with N Walker, that shit's just gone now. Um, I'll probably get off my bars later. Let's just go in right now. Your end has come. Surrender the crystals. Okay, let's get second dot going on that guy. Start casting stone. Get regen up on ourselves. Up, oh, I've been stunned. Reset the dot. The cold salves my pain. Oh shit, they both dead. Hmm, hmm. Behold now, Behemoth. Ah, oh, that's Behemoth right there. Just skirt around him. Like these people in this outpost. They're just like, no, this is fine. Hello? Oh god, oh god. I just wanted to look. Wow, I didn't think its mouth would open like that. That is horrifying. I was just like, what are these? Some sort of like weird moss alligator? Alright. No, is it come back to attack me? No, please don't. Oh god. Oh well, okay, we'll just kill it. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> I was just like, wow, it's got a pretty cool face. Did not expect it's not to open like that. Oh jeez, that is horrifying. Back off, sir. Right, house to rent there night. No, no, no what trouble. Other crocodile moss thing. Gah! Draw your weapon, foul! Wait, I recognize you, adventurer. You are come seeking heretics? Then we share a common purpose. We were on patrol when we chanced upon one of their raiding parties and pursued them here. By rights, we should have had them cornered in this ravine, and yet they are gone, vanished like icy wraiths. Oh, cutscene. This looks very pretty. It all sparkles. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Just uh, humph and walk away? My spidey sense is tingling. Except for that cutscene. Humph. Mysterious lady. Alright. You glimpsed a woman atop the cliff. I, I managed to glimpse the woman atop the cliff? Yes, thank you, spidey senses. Could it be Iceheart herself comes to sneer at our folly? And where did you disappear? Uh, yeah, any woman, potentially, Iceheart. The heretics must have discovered a passage through the frozen walls, some hidden tunnel that escaped our notice. We have not the men to risk further investigation. It would be best were we to return to White Brim Front and lay our suspicions before Lord Drillmont. Alright, yeah, we're not going 
to investigate because, you know, it could be a trap and we don't have the people to try to pull that shit off. This does say dungeon entrance, so I wonder... Listen to this music, though. It's nice music. I like the vocals. I like the vocals on that one. All right, back to Drillmont. Drillmont. I saw a lot of these. A lot of the Ishgard names are French-based, so I know if we should French Frenchify it. It appears I owe you my thanks once again. The surviving knights spared no detail in their report. The men you found out near Snowcloak were some of my finest. That they should be bested so handily. They were alive? I thought they were all dead. I fear I have woefully underestimated the threat these heretics pose. But I understand you might balk at the notion. I must ask that you put aside your mission and consider the stolen provisions lost to us for now. It would be ill-advised to blunder unprepared into what may well be the very lair of our enemy. Pray, return to Dragonhead and inform Lord Harshafant of your discoveries. He will wish to plan contingencies on his own. As for Iceheart and her fanatics, the freezing heights of Snowcloak will not shield them from our justice for long. All right. Back we go then to to Lord Halshafont. I get caught in his name a little bit, <laughs> saying his name. Hal Hal I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Halshafont. Halshafont. It's hard to know sometimes with the names. Like, in, in, in French, like, so many letters can sometimes be just silent. Not to say that English doesn't have words where you're just like, oh yeah, you don't pronounce any, like, you don't, you don't pronounce these letters the way you think you would. A lot of the times that is because they're borrowed from a different language. Sometimes from French. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, here we go. How chiffon? Hello. I am back with news. Are you still voice acted? Your return oh. is most timely. Of their own accord, my thoughts had turned to your task and the progress. Well, we, where are we getting his <laughs> perspective preview my here for a <laughs> tended toward the grim and bloody. What is this face we're doing? We're just like concerned and we're like looking at him and he's like, really? You thought I had died? But you are here now, and I suspect such frivolous wonderings do little justice to the reality of your travails. Tell me, what did you learn of Iceheart? This guy's over the top. Indeed. And this transpired at Snowcloak? Yeah, so like they were attacking people and they were stealing things and then there was this lady and they probably have like a secret tunnel in that area. Of all the highlands, that towering wall has borne the worst of the region's brutal shift in climate. Did the climate shift after the calamity? Was that a thing that happened and then it became snowy? Was that a plot point? Brutal shift in climate. That might have been what happened. Maybe it was just like, oh yeah, the ether. Weather. Crazy shit. 
So inhospitable has Snowcloak become that we have still to survey the area in its entirety. Could its frozen heights conceal the heretic's hideaway? Mayhap a more robust reconnaissance effort is in order. Dangerous, though. Putting such considerations aside for the moment, we still know far too little of this ice heart. That she is capable of commanding such a band of fanatics bespeaks natural authority. And no small measure of charisma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Also, potential primal involvement, crystals, unnatural, you know, unnatural, uh, fervor. Seeps of primal. As much as I would like to fathom this mystery with you, the situation has grown beyond my personal purview. I am bound by duty to inform the Temple Knights and request that they bring this matter to its conclusion. Okay. Giving the glowing reports the new commander has garnered thus far, I am certain that they can be relied upon to take appropriate action. Though Iceheart's true identity yet eludes us, you have provided us with a point from which to begin. Sometimes it takes but a single stone to prompt an avalanche. Appropriate weather metaphor? Or like snowy metaphor? On the metaphor? matter of the stolen provisions, I have already made arrangements for a second shipment to be sent to Revenant's Toll. I could not well allow such an honorable venture to be undermined by one miserable setback. Hulk Chiffon, thank you. We appreciate the second run of supplies. Most people would be like, well, we tried, that's it. We don't have any more supplies, goodbye. Thank you, fully, fully voice, voice acted Hal Chiffon. I appreciate it. Anything else to say, my friend? Pray, tell the frontier hands to fret not over the stolen supplies. Tis but a pittance compared to the rewards we shall reap for having a solid stronghold in Mordona. Okay, thank you. Again, Hal Chiffon. Ill tidings, though, with, with ice heart. Ill tidings. All right, I guess we're going back to Revenant's Toll. Let's laugh one. Kelwin, tis good to see you returned to the Toll. How fared you in the frozen wastes of Corthus? How's Fortanus to send a second shipment? I must send thanks to Lord Harshavant for his continued generosity. Yet even as our town grows in prosperity, I feel it will attract even greater numbers of those who would do us harm in the name of greed or power. All of us, Alphanode's new recruits included, must remain vigilant against such threats. Hmm. Alright. Knocked. Circlet. Oh, these are class-specific. And then none of these are our class. Um... Oh, is RPR? Is that Reaper? Oh! The new class. Let's take, we'll take this one, the Astrum Helm. What do these look like? I don't know. Okay, well, I'll just take the middle one. Sure. Continue, so sorry, don't be sorry. I don't mind talking. I just also, I also, you know, don't want to get, I don't want to get talking for too long, I guess. But I don't mind talking a little bit. Just want to keep making it through the story is all. That too, that too. But I don't mind stopping to chat. All right. Slathborn has news on the progress of the inaugural, inaugural ceremony. While you were waiting, Corthus, preparations for the inaugural ceremony were all but completed. Although Totaro does yet seem somewhat flustered. I've taken enough of your time. Why don't you head into the Rising Stones and see if the f your frantic receptionist could do with a hand? I don't know why we have to have such a grand inaugural ceremony when our thing isn't that big yet. But okay. Go off, I guess, Alphano. Anyway, Tataru. To 
I'm just so far behind in terms of like everybody's off in Endwalker already, so it's like I need, we gotta book it. We gotta keep going. <laughs> we gotta keep going. We gotta make. We have so much content to make it through. <laughs> we're just gonna be so long until we make it to Endwalker, especially if we're only doing for as much as we're streaming. Yeah, we gotta keep pushing on. These parchments just need to be stored, and these documents, why are they even here? Oh, I'm sorely tempted to file the lot in my waste paper basket. Ah, Kelwyn, you startled me. You, you wish to lend a hand? Splendid. I like the little yay bounce she just did. Would you be a dear and hand these uniforms to our, for the new recruits? We have uniforms. They are scattered about Revenant's toll, and I haven't had time to track, track them all down. The recruits know to don the garb immediately and assemble here in the Rising Stones. You'll want to report directly back to Alphano if you don't want to, if you don't wish to miss the ceremony. I wonder if the Scions will ever have matching uniforms. A well-funded organization is a well-dressed organization, I suppose. Matching uniforms for the Scion, that would be a lot. We've always seemed like a collective band of eclectics. It's 16 degrees Celsius and your neighbors are having a pool party. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, so that's a bit chilly for a pool party. Matching uniforms, how cute. Well, it depends on the uniform. It depends on the uniform. We are building a kind of army here, so I guess they would have matching uniforms. I guess it's a symbol of being a part of that organization. Maybe we'll just have little signs of the Seventh Dawn badges. That would be cool. Oh, here's 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 uh, Will 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 Red. He's an Alamegan refugee that we recruited. Little Alamigo could learn much from what is told that this town can be so alive in the midst of such desolation. Such desolation. A deep blue uniform crafted specifically for Alphano's new trial organization. Here's your uniform, lad. I've never worn art quite so voluminous. Well, I'm sure I'll grow accustomed to the extra cloth in time. Okay, okay. There's another one up there. Who the freak? Are you part of the... I didn't recruit you. Who are you? The Scarlet Garb mocks me as a proud member of the Maelstrom and a hearty defender of Limsa Laminza. Yet in truth, I stand for the betterment of the realm, and thought this new company a fine opportunity to contribute on a grander scale. Oh, you've come as a new recruit. Nice, Sue. Take this uniform. Oh ho, now that's a striking shade of blue. Put alongside my maelstrom uniform, my wardrobe will certainly not lack for color. This guy, I like his attitude. Look at this lady. I like her hair. Hello. Jigasana? I'm sorry, I can't wait. I'm rather busy with what one of Arena's thinkless tasks. I like that. I like that lady. Illbird. Who the shit are you? Oh, we haven't met, thank god. I was just- I, I- they keep bringing back characters, and I've been so long since I've done this story that I'm just like... That they're just like, hey, you remember me? From this questline? I'm like, no. So when he's just like, I don't believe we've met, I'm just like, oh, thank god I didn't forget you. He's just collecting uniforms, don't be fooled. He plans to be a part of every single organization with a uniform so that he can boast them all. <laughs> smart guy, smart guy. Being part- be part of every organization. <laughs> I don't believe we've met. I'm Ilbert, and I will have the honor of leading my fellow recruits as captain. Much did I lose to the Calamity, and I look forward to aiding others in rebuilding their lives. You seem very reliable. The uniforms are a shrewd decision. There is no easier method of creating common bond among what is essentially a band of strangers, but a uniform. We'll all be united by garb, at least. Uh, 
NPC, do you know me? Luna, no, sorry, you're not memorable. <laughs> Listen, if you're not a main character and you only participated briefly in the story, I probably forget you existed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, many side characters. Sometimes I'll be like, I'm getting a flashback. I vaguely remember you or a location. Where am I going? Where are these? It says, oh, he's up there. Why take stairs when you have flying oars? Hello. Oh, Elian from Gridania. We recruited this one. Isildar has at last ret uh, retired from the adventurous life. Though I shall miss his wisdom and irrepressible spirit, I'm excited to forge my own path forward. With this new uniform, congratulations. Ah, yes, the uniform. Thank you. Truth be told, the thought of pledging myself to such a lofty organization is somewhat intimidating. It's all right. I believe in you. Oh, real. This guy, veteran adventurer. My pal, my friend. Hello there, lass. Looking for me, was ye? I'd suggest giving a whistle, but I'm not sure I'd hear it amongst all the bustle. You look like such a badass leaning against this wall. A whole proper uniforms and all. This thing will cut off the blood to me head. Not to worry, though. I'm sure she'll be fine after making a few adjustments. He's gonna he's gonna personalize the uniform like like a high, a high school student would in an anime, which is the only the only experience I have with high school student uniforms. Because I didn't know anybody from a high school that had a uniform. I didn't. I don't think I knew. Besides, like maybe like a private school might have something like that. <laughs> Not allowed. Matching uniforms only. No adjustments. <laughs> you, you, Hase. Hello, adorable friend. Those who believe this company will see no riches are short-sighted fools. The giving of oneself is an investment in the future. This, thus did I sign my name to the cause. Oh, he's just like, this shit's gonna be profitable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invest in on the ground floor. These uniforms are a splendid idea. Once our organization has made a name for itself, there shall be wealth aplenty in selling replica costumes to the adoring masses. No, no, that's like selling like fake police shit. Don't do it. The replica uniforms. You have uniform. You, you, we have uniforms for school in Australia. Oh, I didn't know that. It's like the school you went to had uniforms. I've, I've never, I've never been to a school with uniforms. I think maybe like some private schools might have uniforms, but I think most public schools don't have anything of like. You know, there's like you know, like loose dress codes sometimes. Like, don't wear anything too revealing. That's about it. Yeah, every school does. Wow. I didn't know that about Australia. Cool beans. Did you like having uniforms? I think I like just, you know, wearing, wearing whatever. <laughs> Kelvin Light Gods, I did not expect to meet you strolling about town. The tales of your primal battles were what inspired me to come to Revenant's Toll. I'm here to hand you a uniform, friend. Tis an honor to receive this uniform from your hands. I shall wear it with pride. Given to you directly by the hero, the warrior of light, treasure, treasure it. I'm a celebrity. Ours, ours was pretty chill though, a green polo and black shorts, I see. It was good to not think about what to wear, I guess that's fair enough. I guess that's, that's the, that's the up point of it. Ah, uh, let's see. 
Where's the last person? Outside on the outskirts here? Oh, on the wall. Hello, pal. Laurentis. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> Look at these, these watch people. <laughs> What a band we have here. He's just like imitating all of them. Look at this wee guy in the yellow armor. This is adorable. It's just the other one over there. I thought it best to mimic my fellows here, but I admit that I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Our new uniforms, I'm reminded of my induction into the Wood Withers, and then I betrayed them. <laughs> what am I doing in this organization again? That guy's a former criminal. We were apparently, uh, we apparently got arrested, and then we apparently just decided to recruit. And he's just like, I'm gonna turn over a new leaf. I don't trust him, he's sus. Yeah. That wall, 110% secure. Nobody getting past that wall. Lookouts on point. Five of them. Sussy Becca. Yeah. All right, no, we're going straight to Alphano now. We're going straight to Alphano. Yeah, I hope he does. We gave him a second chance. Though when he, when we talked to him, he was just like, it's you. <laughs> You're the one that got me arrested. And, he said, and, then it, and then it came up with, do you remember me? Don't you remember me? And the options were, oh yeah, now I remember you, followed by who? Followed by dot, dot, dot. And I didn't remember him, so I was just like, who? And he was just like, you don't remember me? And I was just like, no, I'm sorry. I would have norm I would have gone for the top option, but it wouldn't have been true to what I was experiencing at the time. It was just like, who the fuck are you? All right. Let's go talk to Alphano. Alphano, we've handed out the uniforms. Dark blue, which is, I don't know, I don't know if that's supposed to be based on your outfit. Bring yourself in quite the high position, Alphano. Yes, Kelvin, uh, Tataro mentioned you were handing out the new uniforms. I assume you've now met with the rest of the recruits? Some few answered the call to arms I put forth through the established grand companies and such. Okay, so those extra peoples were the call to arms. That's great. We are not yet an army, but there is much a small corpse of elite warriors can achieve. Did I mention I thought of the name for the company? Tis my hope that it shall soon be known across the breadth of Eorzea. The moment the truth draws near, Kelwin, once the last of the recruits have gathered, I shall make the official announcement. Oh, the moment of truth draws near, Kelwin. Okay. Oh, very grand company has Comrades. uniforms from blue. Your presence here this day signifies the momentous choice that each of you oh, has voice made. acted. I guess like the if Limsa's red because I just saw that Limsa's red. I forget what color the the immortal flames are. Is it black? And then Gridania is yellow. The, the 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 order of the twin. I forget what the I thought. I thought the immortal flames were red, but I guess I was wrong because I was just thinking flames, so they gotta be red. It looks like Limsa's is red. I don't know. There's so many colors that are taken by uniforms already. Anyway, voice acting continue. This, uh, I guess I guess we might as well have like I guess I was just like an inaugural ceremony seems a bit much for such a small organization, but I guess we're telling the recruits, you know, we're laying down the thing to recruits. With your strength now pledged to the scions of the seventh dawn. You are beholden to no single nation. You stand as the vanguard for a united Eorzea. From this moment forth, I declare you crystal braves. Oh no. Let us mend this fractured realm and face our enemies as one. Oh no. Oh no, they are the Crystal Braves. Whether it be the Beastmen and their primals, or the conflict in Cartano, 
It is plain that the nations of Eorzea cannot solve the problems which plague the realm. Thus does it fall to some few heroic souls to succeed where they have failed. I mean, it's true that we as the Scions have been sort of going around and being like, uh, take out the primal squad, you know, like the heroic squad, but we're adding more people to this squad now. And uh, the reason I say, oh no, the Crystal Braves is because I know spoilers. I'm pretty sure this does not go well for us. Come, take your place at the Scion's side as guardians of Eorzea, and together we shall fight for the freedom of all! For the freedom of all! So that's our captain, captain dude. For the freedom of all. That's nice. I bet you doesn't seem to have made any uh, adjustments to his uniform as I thought he would. That's nice. Oh, a rousing what a salute! Or should I say, Crystal Brave Commander Levayeur? Is they 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 really know how to say like the freedom of all there at the end together? That was very coordinated of that group. She's like, all right, lads, the last thing that uh, that uh, the elf knows is induction ceremony. Whatever grand speech he has, we're all gonna repeat it. It's all gonna be coordinated. We're all gonna look good as a group. <laughs> Please, antecedent. The title is honorary. I shall not be leading the troops into battle, as it were. We are of the same purpose. Let us join hands and do what must be done to save this land. Yay. The Scions stand ready. So now we are the Scions, but we got our muscles, the Crystal Braves. Sage nod with a smile. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. Whew. But our thing's gonna take a turn eventually, I think. They're building us up only to fucking eviscerate us. I'm eager to see what the Crystal Wait Brave might accomplish. This shall prove an interesting time indeed for the Scions. Yeah, we're out in the open now. We're no longer a secret organization. And we're building ourselves a mini army, which is a little bit, let's be honest, it's a bit much, I think. I think maybe this was a bit too soon, but you know, Alpha knows a year. The only reason I think it's a bit too soon is just like, hey guys, we're a new, we're an organization that I've been doing things in the shadow. We've been helping out and stuff like that. Also, we're building an army now. <laughs> that's that's why that's a little bit, <laughs> that's a little bit. If I were a person, I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> now we have the best of intentions though. But I mean, coming coming into the, the light and being like, hey, we've been doing all these good things, but now we're also building an army, that's a bit much. <laughs> it was a sign-up requirement to 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 do the 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 last the say the last thing together. Alright guys, if you're gonna sign up though, we all have to we all have to be be in coordination. <laughs> I've put it I've put it on the uh, the documents here. This is our catchphrase. Incoming message. Yes, I'm listening. So our worst fears are confirmed. Oh. The entire isle. Such power defies comprehension. So this is involving the scholars of Baldacian, who are our, were our allies, um, and their island just like disappeared. Truly, Kryle is alive. Thank the twelve. Yay, Kryle's alive. I we don't know this character yet. I don't think I don't think we've ever met this character yet in the story. I don't know who the fuck Kryle is in the story. I know she comes in later. I know who she is, but like I don't know at this point I don't know who she is. I see. Pray, inform me if her condition changes. Oh, she's yes. alive, but she's I shall pass on unwell. your words to Arianger. This is a roller coaster ride of a My conversation, one-sided conversation. You 
the entire island, but Kral is alive. Oh, but she isn't. Okay, all right. When I learned of the loss of the Isle of Val, I dared not hope that my friend had survived. Yet, by some miracle, it would seem she has. She's Yay. still to regain consciousness, it is true, but better that than death. I concur. Putting this happy news to one side, we must now endeavor to make sense of the readings taken by the survey party. It appears the etheric disturbance which accompanied the Isle's destruction is of a magnitude alarmingly close to that of Ultima. Could the Asians be responsible for this devastation as well? Such devastation. Sorry, it's a meme. It's a Final Fantasy meme. Guy on Belzer says that in his in his dungeon, and it became a meme. Such devastation. So you're telling me, Minfilia, that they called down a magical mechanical nuclear weapon on this island. I wonder. Have you heard aught from the Mother Crystal since the battle with the Garleans? No. But the Elidibus did say her power was waning. Then she speaks to neither one of us. Hydaelyn's silence portends not but ill, I fear. She said Louis she expended Soir. a lot of energy. I pray you yet watch boost over in her us. power. Louisa. All right, let's see. Arcanist Bard m m m Mechanist. D -d 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 don't know that. D -d 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 oh, this one's for us. Conjurer, White Mage, Scholar, Astrologian, probably Sage, that's what that one stands for. Thaumaturge, Arcanist, Black Mage, Summoner, Red Mage, Blue Mage. So this will take this one. And that's the one complete. Oh, oh, we're going straight. I was going to equip my thing. Going straight into cutscene. Oh, snowy thing. Ice heart. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Oh, it's Harsh Shuffle. Very good. See that the provisions are prepared for transport. Let us hope this shipment is spared the fate of the last. I was gonna... okay, okay. Right. Let's hope those supplies get to us. It's who now? Harshafon. The Elizin from Ishgard all have very French-sounding names. <gasps> He's looking. The winds are uncommon fierce this day. Boats ill. The winds. Bad winds. Oh, we're looking all the way back at the castle area. Oh, transition over to the castle area. Oh, it's the elf pope. Okay, so Ishgard is very religious. Um, so yeah, so they have an elf pope. I couldn't pronounce that to save my life. I also stumbled upon it a lot, so I just I made a guess based on my language of French. <gasps> no, he's backed by an Asian. He's backed by a Litibus. Two Asians. Oh, and then they're gone. They don't notice. Other people can't see them. That bodes ill. Though it's great that we're uh, getting a little bit of the Ishgard stuff coming in because it means we're close to jumping into Heaven's Ward at some point. All right, now I now I can equip my helmet. Helmet. Equip. All right, let's see how this looks. <laughs> that's that's a that's a that's a lot. All right, how do I take my helmet away? 
How do I make it so that I can't see my helmet? Character. Display headgear. There we go. Apply. There we go. No cool circle it anymore. Just our cool Makote marking stuff. Does seem a bit bare without the cool circle we had before, but whatever. Let's keep talking to Minfilia. Minfilia would have you assist Alphano in his new station as commander of the Crystal Braves. Oh, we're getting, we're getting gloves now. Except. <sighs> Try as I might, I cannot shake a creeping sense of dark foreboding. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> But that's for, you know, a different reason. Because I know spoils, bad things gonna happen. But avails us not to fret about the unknown. <laughs> we must concentrate instead on the problems of the present. The primals have been relatively quiet of late, and the beast tribes who summon them are under constant surveillance by the grand companies. Should any suspicious activity be afoot, you may be certain that we will hear of it. And until such time as permanent solution to the primal problem has been found, we can do little but wait and observe. As for the Asians, Uriange is wholly dedicated to finding the means by which we may defeat the dark beings. Let us pray for good tidings on that front. But all of this you knew already. Let us speak of more current matters, in particular the state of the Crystal Braves. Alphano did well to found the organization, but ensuring its smooth operation is another matter entirely. Though I doubt not that he is doing his best, I felt that a helping hand or two would, would not go astray. To this end, I offered to send one of the Archons to assist him, but he declined. You know how he can be. Independent to a fault. Dude, he's so young. He can't, he can't lead this organization by himself. Except help, Alpha. No, you're not going to be able to do this alone. Independent to a fault and singularly loath to accept help. Save, of course, when the help comes from you. Alpha Note has entrusted countless matters of import to your care in the past, and I believe he would not hesitate to do so again for you to offer, because he trusts us. I should be most grateful if you would go to him and support him in whatever manner you are able. Will do, Minfilia. Let's go help our wayward son. Well, you know what happened and you're not telling anyone or trying to stop it? Luna Sabotage. Listen. <laughs> if only... Anything else to say, Mithlia? Alphano refused the Archon's help, but I believe that he would welcome yours. I should be most grateful if you were to place yourself at his disposal. Okay, that's it. All right. Ooh, look at this. Now populated with these guys. Gilbert, he's the reliable looking captain dude, but now that I see him in uniform, I have a vague sense of this character. And I feel the suspicious vibes. If my memory serves of spoilers, I'm not entirely sure. Something maybe not good. Dispatch the first unit to Uda. The second and the fourth are to stand by for further orders. Oh wow, he already leading the people. Ida? Hmm, hmm. Condemn refugees to death. Wait a minute, that's not right. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> What's the context? In which event we must guide them to Little Almigo, else we condemn them to certain death. Ida, what did I just tell you? Oh, I see. He's like, Ida, are you paying attention? He's just like, she's like, no, I, I listened to the last part. That was something about condemning them to death or something. Haha. <laughs> Nowhere. Many of my countrymen are skilled with bow or blade. I have made it my mission to rally those with such talents to the Braves' cause. I hope we can be of some small assistance. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was... Yeah, I listened to that line out of order, so you just suddenly saying that, I was just like, say what? <laughs> yeah, apparently Papalima was just talking about trying to avoid that, and that's all you would heard from that. Yashtola, yes, why are we talking here? Yes, yes, it would be foolish to sacrifice nutrition for flavor. Oh, they're talking about this lady's been trying to recreate recreate um, dome and dishes, dishes from her homeland. 
In traditional Doma cuisine, we strive for perfect balance, not only flavor and texture, but also nutrition. For a meal to be truly satisfying, it must nourish the body as well as delight the senses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If Agiri and our more skilled culinarians worked closely together, I dare say they could create an extraordinary dish such to satisfy yours and end Doman like. She's making progress. All right. Thancred, look at you with your freaking blade doing fancy shit. Don't hurt yourself. A dazzling floral arrangement, each blossom a peerless beauty in her own right. Ah, the blessing and the burden of an overactive imagination. Okay. Probably thinking of wooing some lady. Hello? What are you doing here by the supplies? Where have those younglings disappeared to? Making the most of their newfound freedom, no doubt. Oh no, are the younglings not accounted for? The, the small domains? Mm -hmm, that boat snail. They're, uh, they're a rambunctious lot. I hope they haven't tried to take something on. Those Azad uniforms are really rather striking, but I think I shall remain a scion for the nonce. Part of the B team, as it were. <laughs> These walls have become my home and the scions my family. Besides, I'm not sure blue is really my color. The green of, in my cassock brings out my eyes, just as Hori's breeches bring out the red in his. <laughs> the green brings out my eyes, you see. Can't possibly do blue. Look forward, never back. Devote yourself only to the present. This is what I've learned from the domains. Hmm. Cool beans. Alpha no, how's it going? What is it, Kelwin? And be concise, I'm rather busy. Hmm? You would lend a hand, you say? I see. Well, now that you mention it, there is a matter that wants for attention. Given its sensitive nature, I was hesitant to entrust it to the Braves, but the demands upon my time are such that I had little choice. Uh-oh. He's already sent them to do a delicate task? Oh, shit. Which is not to say that the men are my men want for labor. Though we are but newly formed, there is already a great demand for our services, and we are hard-pressed to answer all petitions. Oh, so there's a lot of problems in the realm, and they're just like, we want the Crystal Braves. That's uh, good that they're helping. I mean, that's that's good. You know, helping more people will get our name out there, and more people will be recruited, and, you know, we'll be able to... You know, we just gotta make sure we have lots of oversight on our ranks. That we're not just letting them go willy nilly do whatever. Like, you can try, like, you know, like, because our reputation is at stake. But I digress. The fact is, I would sooner attend to this particular matter myself, but my presence is required elsewhere. That being the case, I have entrusted its resolution to my second command, Captain Ilbird. Tell him that I sent you, and we, he will furnish you with particulars. My thanks in advance, Kelvin. I hope you really trust this Ilbert dude, man. They should make you read the other message first, yeah. But this is all Hail like... You, Sion. Oh How shit, might we serve you? you have a voice actor? Oh, yeah, okay. That means he's important. I'd have to have a voice. Commander Levayeur bade you serve us? These are welcome tidings indeed. Given the sensitive nature of the task, I could not rely on one of my own. Who's a that which I'm shit? about to tell you. I tell you in the strictest confidence. Some I days closer, ago, please whisper we received to me. certain documents These from an anonymous echo. source. They notified us of the presence of a Garlean agent within the ranks of one of the Grand Companies. Sorry, say what? Documents from an anonymous source in one of that seems very vague in just one of the grand companies You know how many members are in each of these armies following some discreet inquiries We identified a suspect among the immortal flames whom we detained for questioning You detained the member of another army as a fledgling organization. What are you doing? Alas the man was not our agent He was but one of many men in the agents employ 
okay, so he was he was sus though. But this is something that the organization themselves should root out. I mean, we trust Rao Bon, who's the leader of the Mortal Flames. Tell him. This isn't our job. We're we're meddling we in other people's organizations. Name, but he had none to give. He claims never to have met his master, whom he knows only as the Ivy. Ooh. He was, however, certain that this ivy had coiled itself around every part of the immortal flames. It would seem our quarry joined the company some time ago and gradually recruited others to his cause. Oh. These conspiracies this is what we have to worry about in our relations. Our secrets, all without exposing himself. It won't be easy to identify the ivy amidst this tangled mass of subterfuge. But we have a tendril in our hands, and we shall follow it all the way to the gnarled root. Mm. Now, much as I would prefer to proceed with due discretion, circumstances demand that this matter be settled post haste. Garlemald's war of succession nears its end, and it is feared that the Empire will soon resume its march on Eorzea. When it does, we can ill afford to have traitors in our midst. The ivy must be rooted out now. We must begin by apprising General Roban of our findings. Oh, good, we are talking about Roban. I ask that you accompany me to the Hall of Flames and remain on hand to see that things go smoothly. Oh, God, please don't use my presence for ill. Assuming the ivy's tendrils are as widespread as we believe, he will be aware that an investigation is underway. And if that is the case, he may well move against us. He was certainly not. We must be prepared for anything. Though, to be or fair, like... care not to betray our purposes by seeming prepared. A simple enough task for a one-woman army like you. <laughs> we must be prepared for everybody, but not seem like we're prepared for everything. We have to be... <laughs> God, take him, take him by surprise. This guy seems very reliable. I'll give him that. Yeah, he, he's like he's led before. But we, if we haven't met before, I wonder how Alphno knows him. Okay, we're going to the Hall of Flame. I assume that's in... Yeah, okay, that is in Ulda. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's right by... Oh, yeah, it's right by the other right. That's where the Immortal Flames thing is. All right. Uh, so let's go there. <laughs>